Hello, hello everyone. Water Bear here with the Water Bear's Tea and let's talk about the current Mercury retrograde and Capricorn season starting today and the winter solstice. All right. So we currently have a Mercury retrograde in Capricorn going on and it will end on the last day of this year. So we will be starting the new year 2024 freshly with Mercury moving direct. Okay. But let's get deeper. Capricorn in astrology rules over conditioning. Okay. The different systemic conditioning, the different conditioning that we inherited from our family, from the media, it, and, and the, the way that it has restricted us or created certain systems or beliefs within us because of how we were brought up, okay? And I'm noticing, and I, I already saw it in the chart, but I'm definitely noticing now a lot of people are looking at their conditioning, redoing and looking back at the way they were raised, redoing and looking at the way they dealt with relationships in the past, finances in the past. People are rewriting this conditioning now. People are rewriting these systems, okay? And also are seeing them, calling them out. Oh, this system of, of body image or this system of family beliefs came from this in the past. Capricorn rules the past, the way things were, okay? And wherever Capricorn or Saturn is in your chart talks about the main area you were conditioned in your life, okay? So for us to be moving into Capricorn season as we're in a Mercury retrograding Capricorn, this is the time for us to look at this conditioning and look at different ways to become your own authority and to remove a lot of the restrictive conditioning that was put on you in younger years. All right. We also have Pluto, his last month in Capricorn, really revealing a lot of these systems to us. Pluto moved into Capricorn in 2008 and Pluto was the planet of revolution. Pluto is the planet of just showing what's underneath the surface, showing you what isn't truly authentic, okay? Since 2008, look at what we have realized. Personally, what have you realized when it comes to um, the government system, okay? And the different systems there and how they affect the citizens, okay? We've had a lot more awareness of this now. And so at this time, this is really about us, as we have this last Mercury retrograde in Capricorn before Pluto moves into Aquarius, to look back at a lot of the ways you have been building up your life, a lot of the ways people have told you how to handle relationships, finances, handle yourself, how society has told you to handle these things, how society handles your body, handles yourself, handles your mindset, okay? This is this time of reconstructing and changing these things. While the Mercury retrograding Capricorn is happening, Lilith, the asteroid, will be forming a supportive alignment the entire time. And Lilith is someone you're going to hear me talk about a lot on my channel because she is the energy that we need to actually move into the new age, to actually have e more equality and equity and more reciprocity for the people. We need Lilith's energy. She was cast out of the Garden of Eden and all these patriarchal systems that shut down and suppress the fullness of the feminine, this is connected to that. And so for us to actually get moving forward and get to more equity for everyone, Lilith needs to be a part of it, okay? So for her to be supporting this Mercury retrograde, I think it is amazing. During this time, we're looking back at past conditioning and past restrictions and past situations that have put us down or held us back or controlled us. Lilith is there to show us even more. Lilith also rules over melanated groups of people, queer people as well. Um, basically, anyone shat on in society by the system and the many systems of the world and especially the Western world currently. Um, so for her to be supporting this alignment, this is allowing melanated people, allowing queer people, allowing the underdogs to really get a look at the ways they were put down, the conditioning and the specific ways it has restricted them or put them down, okay? Um, or silenced them, all right? Um, think about as well, Taraji P. Henson, the actress currently vocalizing the restrictiveness of being a black um, woman in the industry, okay? This is so Lilith describing these things and bringing up how the systemic issues are causing this, okay? This is Capricorn, and she's bringing it up from past situations. This is a Mercury retrograde. You see what's going on in the Congo. This is melanated people. What's going on in Palestine with Palestinian people as well. These are all Lilith ruled people. You're seeing children being murdered and abused, older people being murdered and abused on top of just basically everyone else this is also lilith rules over children 
and elders, okay? So this is a massive, massive time during this retrograde to really look at not only have past, how past conditioning has restricted you, but to also hear the voices of those that have not been heard, okay? That are ruled by Lilith. So really, really deep stuff going on there with Lilith, and I'm really excited to speak more about it as we continue on. So I have with astrology, y'all, take this time with this Mercury retrograde, it's way deeper than you think, to look back at past conditioning and how that has impacted you in the past, and the new boundaries, the new rules, the new systems, the new routines you want to create for yourself to move forward into the future. That's what I have. I currently have a 2024 reading I'm super excited about. Multiple for love. You want to love forecast 2024 career. We go into spiritual growth as well, looking at the alignments and seeing how the year will move for you. Check out my site. I also have other astrology readings, courses, gift cards as well. Tons of stuff. That's what I have, y'all. Thank you so much for tuning in. The Water Bear is out. Make sure to like, comment, and share this to someone else, especially if they're going through family things or career things, self-worth things. This is a big time of calling out how we have been conditioned and finding new ways to recondition ourselves. That's what I have, y'all. Thanks so much. Talk to you later.